Good morning. Today's the day we're swimming up the Gila River. So we got half of our crew here and I think we may just take off. Haven't seen Easy or Sprite yet, so uh, I think those guys are just a little bit behind us. But uh, we got a group of four right now. I think we're gonna be heading out here in just a little bit, start trudging up the river. And I'll try to film that as best as I can without uh, getting my camera wet. So we'll see how that goes. Well, starting out on the Sapijo Creek. And just up ahead is the Gila River. I think we start out on this side of it so we don't get to cross the Gila just yet. But for now we're rolling out with, uh, we got Pace, Firefly, and King Tucky. So you'll see them in the video up ahead there. Uh, there's the Gila, nice and flooded over. Swift enough of a current, we'll definitely be doing this carefully. At least the water's not that cold. It's a little chilly, but it doesn't feel that cold. And it's not even knee deep yet. This is the fun part, trying to figure out the best ways to go. Yeah, there's the rest of the crew. They're just a little bit behind us. It's not all river crossing. There are some dry stretches. All right, we're all on shore, everybody. Double time, march! 
Well, it's break time. It's coming up on noon. We've done five miles already, so I think we're doing a decent pace, going nice and slow and steady. We're not in a race to get to Doc Campbell's by today, so somewhere just before it, um, we'll look for bedding down for the night and then dropping in there tomorrow morning is the game plan. But we're gonna try to massage our feet out a little bit and just eat um, lots of snacks, and then we'll be back on trail shortly for a lot more river crossings. Now we're done with the break. Back on trail. Following the, up the river. It's definitely beautiful down in here. Today is fun more than anything else. A little bit of a challenge with the high water levels, but it's definitely manageable. We've definitely found the fun ways to get through the river here. Still crossing the river. There's something like 50 times between where we started and all the way up to Doc Campbell's. Nobody's counting though. I don't know how many times we've crossed it already. There's a lot of these type of trees out here with the smooth white bark. Oh, very pretty. One last water crossing, but we're basically at camp. Right here where I'm standing is gonna be where everybody's gonna be setting up tents. We just got one last little bit to get through. So I'll check back in once we're getting set up. Here's what camp for the night's gonna look like. We're up on this little embankment above where the Gila River is. There's enough space right where I'm at for another tent or so, right in here. But we're uh, spread out just uh, you know, 50 feet apart, and then another 50 feet, then another 50 feet. So there's plenty of room to be isolated up here. I've got a lasagna for dinner. I'll cook that up in a minute, 
and I'll just go ahead and sign out here real quick. So I think that's going to do it for today. It's been awesome. It's been a lot of fun. A lot of pathfinding, trying to find your own route. We just know you got to follow the river up the valley and that's about it. And you just kind of make your way as it happens. A lot of water crossings. I only filmed probably 10% of them, but it was a lot of fun. It was not as bad as what we thought it was going to be, which was really good. But definitely you want to team up with a group to try to do some of the sketchier stuff when you know it's coming. Um, I think the highest water part that I crossed through was about chest deep, so it was like up to here or so on me. A um, little sketchy, a little, little swift current at times, but uh, not too bad overall. So we just got like four more miles to do in the morning to get to Doc Campbell's, and then from there we'll just do some more planning and figure out whether we're going to do the high route or we'll continue to follow the river or not. We'll figure all that out tomorrow, so thanks for watching. We'll see you all in the morning. Good morning. Another day of tackling the Gila River. We're only four miles to Doc Campbell's, so it's relatively going to be an easy day today. I don't know what our plans are after we hit Doc Campbell's, whether we're going to stay the night there and just kind of make it a four-mile Nero day, or we may hike out after a couple hours and uh, get a couple miles in. We still got to do a bunch of replanning to figure out what route exactly we're going to take once we get there. We think there's some hot springs in the area, so we may just chill at some hot springs. We'll see what we can get up to. I also got to do some resupply. I think it's gonna be like a four and a half day stretch between Doc Campbell's and there's like a highway where I can get off to the west to the town of Reserve. So that's my next stop into point. <sighs> so we'll figure out what we can do. I'll uh, get moving here in just a little bit. I also draw arrows. Had a little bit of elevation gain this morning. It's kind of a nice change of scenery, seeing the river from above. First river crossing today. Hopefully there's not too many more, but most likely. I have since learned that these are sycamore trees. That's a big one. First signs of civilization, we see a bridge. I think it was like Route 15 that is the one that comes up from uh, Silver City up to Doc Campbell's. So we're getting close.
Oh, departing from the Gila River. I think we're road walking from here on in. You guys ready? Yes, sir. And away we go. Beautiful scenery from the road walk. There's a lot of campgrounds and stuff up here. Doc Campbell's is still a little ways further. Less than a mile maybe at this point. So Doc's doesn't open till noon and it's like 10.30. So I think we're gonna wander down to this Hot Springs campground. Drop our packs. We might stay here tonight. Just kind of enjoy the facilities and stuff. And then we'll hit up Doc Campbell's in another hour and a half or so when they open. Horses and goats further back. And we got some sheep on this side. And some more goats. And we're at the campgrounds, getting all set up. Got a little tent city here. So the camp host said we can charge stuff off of that little RV trailer over there. There's a power strip apparently. I'll check that out later. There's Wi-Fi here. I haven't plugged that in yet. And uh, it was $10 a night per person. A little pay station there. And right over here is where the hot springs pools are at. And there's three different pools. So I think we're going to sh shower off best we can in the uh, river just beyond there and then we'll come in and chill in some of the pools oh this is more like it took a dunk in the river to kind of rinse off and now we're in the hot springs very nice reminds me of back on the pct at that one place where the hot springs are right next to that river which i forget what it was called but this is definitely a nice little soak so we'll be chilling for here for a little bit and then moving up to uh, Doc Campbell's for the resupply run and checking out that place. Well, here we go. We got most of all the crew here that we did the Gila River together. So we're all enjoying the hot springs. Woo! <laughs> this is definitely a nice little relaxing break. Botek, is that your hand? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're done with the hot springs. We're gonna make our way up to Doc Campbell's. It kind of loops up and around out of this campground and then a little bit of a road walk. So we got maybe a half a mile to do. And then um, I gotta do, I'm thinking five days of food. And then we'll see what they got. I gotta inventory all the stuff up there. Hopefully we can get some food while we're up there too. And we'll just generally check out what the store has to offer, I guess. I think you can do laundry, but I don't think I'm gonna get anything done until I hit the next stop into uh, reserve. I think I got all my resupply needs taken care of. There's my food bag right there. This will be lunch. A little sampling of things you can get at the store. Everybody's packing up their stuff. You can get resupply boxes picked up here. Here's the other half of the team over there figuring out their needs. Well, we're back down at the campground. We've been at docks for the last couple hours and it's getting on to dinner time. I've got some leftovers to finish up. And we just got a good group here at the table in the campgrounds, just chilling for the evening, getting dinner going. Well, it's turning into a nice, calm, chill evening. Most of the other guys are off into the hot springs, just relaxing for one last soak. And uh, I don't think I'm gonna be up to too much else. So I think that's gonna do it for tonight. This has been a great Nero into town and just chilling all day and just getting a load up on food. Doc Campbell's is a nice place to get all your resupply needs taken care of chilling here at the campgrounds. I can't remember the name of this exact place, but it's just um, just down the road from Doc Campbell's. A little hot springs RV park type thing. A lot of normal like uh, weekenders and stuff come up here. But there's, um, you know, they're real accommodating to all the uh, CDT hikers. They get a bunch of the hikers come through here in hiker season. So it's cool. They got a little tent city area does for us. You can use the hot springs, 10 bucks a night. And there's a little uh, trailer to charge up all your electronic needs so it's definitely a cool setup definitely been a good day to just to chill and relax and hang out with the other hikers so i think that's going to do it for here we are hitting the trail i think we're settled on doing the high route 
so trying to avoid the rest of the river crossings as water levels are a little high. It was kind of fun, but I think we're done with the river crossings and uh, we'll see what the high route looks like. So thanks for watching and we will see you all in the next one.